check 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 hello hello microphone check what's going on guys leo pozzo productions thanks very much for tuning in in today's video we're going to be looking at the brand new and we're also going to be listening to cinco g1 a1 wireless microphone kit Right off the bat looks impressive and you tell me how does it sound I'm using the transmitter right here on my shirt which has a built-in microphone and the receiver is right here on my Panasonic GH5 mounted on my cold shoot mount and it just simply connects via this little clip here at the back and the microphone that you're listening to me right now is right here. <laughs> Sounds crisp and clear. And the headphones that I am listening to right now, or the audio that I'm listening to and monitoring right now, is from the receiver that's mounted on my GH5 right here on the cold shoot mount. And I have enough cable, I'm going to just simply pull it off here, the camera, and bring it up here to the front. And good thing I chose a wide angle lens to use today. Uh, this is the 7.5 millimeter lens, Laowa lens, and it's fantastic for vlogging. And this microphone, this receiver right here, has a, a headphone jack right here that's allowing me to monitor the audio. And the output from this receiver is going directly into my GH5 input jack for the microphone. So it's very simple and straightforward okay see how small this is and lightweight internal batteries which we have a cable to charge and let me just talk about that cable because i just like the cable because one cable actually splits off to a y and it allows us to charge the receiver and the transmitter at the same time i just got this and it's not like i've been using it for a lot of uh days or a lot of shoots this is basically like a test for me too so when i go and edit this i'm going to see what i need to do to try to make the audio sound um you know as best as possible and that's why i monitored the audio with my headphones when i got a brand new microphone and i made sure that the audio sounded pretty good with the headphones and i adjusted the gain sensitivity right here on the receiver so you as the camera operator that's going to have the receiver mounted on your camera and that's what this receiver is it's plugged into the camera right now so this receiver just wanted to show you what buttons that and features that we do have on here so let's start off with the on and off button here at the side just simply push that and it will power on and you'll know that it's powered on because of this blue led and right beside the power button we have the charging port which is the type c port fantastic and i said the charger is included and if we flip this receiver over to the other side we can see that we have two buttons here one is the the syncing the linking the pairing the one that's going to allow you to sync and pair up to the transmitter and the receiver together but guess what as soon as you turn it on it automatically syncs i didn't even have to press that syncing button i had to read the manual to see what that button did because i didn't need to use it it auto syncs but for whatever reason if you need to manually sync it you can just hold down that sync pairing button for three seconds on the transmitter and the receiver and they will just 
sync up if you have any problems. Like I said, it's been automatically syncing for me. And right beside that is a very important button, which is the gain control. The gain control I've noticed has four options, four different settings. So right now, if I recall correctly, I'm on setting number two, the gain number two, and it'll just shows you that the volume uh, sounds louder or the volume sounds lower. So I adjusted it to what I thought, you know, where I'm filming right now. I adjusted it to see how it sounds to what I thought sound good on my headphones. So I'm gonna adjust it to show you what I thought was maybe too loud or too quiet. So let's go ahead and press the gain control once right now. Hello, hello, check, check. It does sound a little bit louder, at least in my headphones. We'll see when it comes down to editing, when I look at the wave file and whatnot. And I just pressed it one more time. So I believe this is the loudest setting, number four of the gain control on the receiver. And it does sound quite loud. And I'm gonna go ahead and press it one more time. And here we are. Oh, I pressed it one more time and it almost sounds like it kind of went a little bit louder. Okay, so let's press it one more time. Oh, and here we are. It looks like we are on setting number one, which I believe is the lowest gain control setting right now. So it does sound pretty good. It doesn't sound too low, but I don't want to really kind of record too low now and then have to jack it up in post, raise it up in post. Ideally, you just want to kind of get what sounds best straight out of camera. Okay guys, for the next part of the video, I'm gonna lower down the volume in post editing so it's not so loud buzzing in your ear. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little test, distance test, nothing too far. Just gonna go down to my neighbor's house and come back type of an idea. So let's have a look.
All right, guys, we're back in action here. The G1 got fully charged in about one hour. Conveniently, as I mentioned, with the cable that's included with the kit, it charged both the receiver and the transmitter within approximately one hour. So let's continue. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I do wanna make it educational and answer any kind of questions that you may have. So what I wanna show for you guys is the lavalier microphone that is included with the G1 kit. I'm going to go ahead and just simply plug in the lavalier microphone microphone into the transmitter over here and I'm going to see how it sounds or you guys are going to listen to how it sounds right now I'm just using the internal microphone so we'll go back and forth to try to see if we hear much of a difference so let's just do a rough quick little test for now plug it in and here we go now I got the lavalier microphone that's included with the G1 this is the G1 lavalier wireless microphone right now. And I have the camera approximately six feet away from me, just sitting on a tripod. The receiver is just simply clipped onto anywhere onto my rig. Very easy, compact, lightweight. This, I just love the design. This one just is so free. Like, look how free I am right now. This is so small. I don't have a big, long, crazy cable around. It's internal batteries. I'm loving this thing right now. And I have the option just simply remove this lavalier microphone. I'm not even a fan of this cable lavalier microphone. I'm really feeling this little bad boy right here that's built in and it's actually super crisp. And I'm interested to see if I can simply just flip this around here to the other side because this side is not really as noticeable you can just see the back of it it just looks like a small little clip assuming that it's sounding pretty good at the same time right now and it's not really so bulky right here in the front so that's another option if you like we also have a cable here that's going to allow us to use this kit with our mobile phone Cinco microphone check on the iPhone plugged in with the cable that is included with the Cinco G1 A1 wireless digital 2.4 gigahertz the cable that will allow you to plug into your phone and your mobile phone is included along with the one with the camera along with the one that's going to charge both units the receiver and the transmitter we got the lavalier microphone itself and what else do we have here we obviously have the clip for the lavalier microphone which is right here this is a little clip that's going to hold it we have this little windscreen little fluffy windscreen muff for the microphone itself oh yeah it's so nice and soft look at that see that and something so small makes you smile and makes you happy we got the good old owner's manual special key here that's going to allow us to do a reset there's a little small tiny reset button at the side of the unit i think it might be a good idea to go ahead and mount the lavalier microphone onto this clip right here okay bang so i might just remove this we'll just put this at the table see how that sounds from being at the table we'll probably just mount this on my shirt okay so that's looking good. We're gonna plug in the microphone right into here. And bang, now we're using the lavalier microphone that's plugged into the transmitter. Look at that. I got a couple of options here. I can just simply tuck this away behind my shirt. The unit feels like it's well built. I didn't even mention to you guys the low cut filter. Why don't we go ahead and test the low cut filter that we have here on the transmitter. I'm going to just press the button maybe one time and see what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna press the low cut filter one time and we'll see how the remainder of the video sounds any different. So I press the low cut filter one time and I'm wondering how it's sounding any different right now. So again, it comes back to monitoring your audio before you start pressing record okay so it's going to be much harder to fix stuff in post might as well just try to do it in camera i know sometimes people have questions about the charging stuff so when the units are charging plugged into the wall the light is green the green led light is illuminated when it is charging when they are done charging 
the lights are not illuminated. All the lights are off. We got this nice little beautiful carrying case. I will mention a few extra things about in the owner's manual of, in regards to the specs of the microphone. What do we have? Wireless transmission, as I mentioned, digital 2.4 gigahertz, RF frequency band. We got 2,400 all the way to 2,483.5 megahertz. The working distance, it's 230 feet at uh, LOS area. So again, at the 230 feet, that's probably the maximum range that we're gonna get with this, but we need to be in an LOS area. If uh, we wanna be in an N LOS area, then we're gonna be limited to approximately 130 feet, give or take, but 130 feet for what I normally film is way more than enough. We're gonna be doing some more tests. We'll make our way outdoors and we'll get a nice long distance range test just to kind of push it to the max. Latency, 12.5 milliseconds, very minimal from what I heard according to the headphones in my ears and whatever I'm listening to in the environment that I'm in. Audio input, we got a 1 8th of 3.5 millimeter TRS mic input, audio input level, one volt, zero dBV, battery charging time, one and a half hours, battery life, five hours, battery type, built-in lithium battery. There's quite a bit of information here. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask. The microphone also records, it says sound field, which is mono, polar pattern is omnidirectional, form factors built in external mic the weight 35 grams materials plastic dimension 52 42 16 mil what else do we got the gain we got zero to four level so zero to eight db that's what we have for the gain option. Audio output, I mentioned that. Frequency range is a 50 hertz to 20 hertz, and sensitivity is negative 40 dB to negative 40 dB sensitivity. And the maximum SPL is 135 dB SPL. Hopefully I got to cover majority of everything that I wanted to cover and that you guys wanted to see. There's obviously a lot more that I can do with this microphone, which I plan to be doing. Again, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Leo Potzel Productions, go ahead and subscribe right now if you guys haven't subscribed already. It's been a blast, man. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.